Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty patty. I am gossiping. This is the Rumor Report. I mean, I guess we on The Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Yes. Right. On The Breakfast Club. Now, Irv Gotti was on Drink Champs uh, talking to Nori and EFN and... They had a discussion about uh, Hove's Book of Hove that's at the library uh, in Brooklyn and talked about possibly, or he heard a rumor that Dame Dash was removed from the exhibit. And, well, the the famous rumor is that Dame Dash is removed from that book. Probably. I don't think think Jay likes Dame. (laughs) Jay, you can put some salt on it. But did you ever think that in the beginning, when you seen their their, their, their chemistry, I'm talking about the the three, you know what I mean? Because, you know, Big's got, you know... with drink champs as well, um, but Biggs, Dame, and Jay. Like I never thought that that that, that this would happen. Did you did you see this day coming? Remember what I said. Mm-hmm. Jay didn't need nobody. Right. He started Rockefeller with Jay and things, so he should get credited. I'm saying the making of the records. And st- no, Jay didn't, didn't need nobody. Yeah. Jay was picking the beats. You Jay was saying? rapping over the beats. He gave Jay, Jay was credit making before. thing. Right. It was all hove. Right. They was along for the ride. Great ride. It's a great ride. I love Nori. When Nori was talking about the Book of Hove, like it was an actual book. Yeah, it's no. not an actual book. It was it's a, it's a library exhibit. It's an exhibit. You know what I mean? And for you know, for anybody listening, it's not a book. It's an exhibit. And uh, I don't recall because I wasn't looking for it, but I'm pretty sure that there is pictures of Damon Dash in the Book of Hove exhibit. I don't. Mm-mm. I can't sit here and say that for certain, but I'm almost positive. Yeah, and I will also say that. Yeah, I, I think Rockefeller was as big as it was because of those three individuals. They both, I think they all used, put their heads together and, you know, Dame did marketing, Jay did the writing and this, and Biggs did this. I think it was a, it was, a, it was all three of them. It was a collective that made Rockefeller as big as it was. I don't, I don't, I mean, sure. I don't know. Mm. I wasn't there. Irv was. No. But uh, I'm pretty sure Dame Dash is in pictures at the Book of Hove, Hove exhibit. I don't, like I said, I can't say that for certain, but because I wasn't, I was paying attention, but, but I wasn't, wasn't, look, I wasn't looking to yet. see if Dame wasn't there. You Correct. know what I mean? Now, also, they talk about his relationship with Fat Joe. You know, for a long time, Irv Gotti and Fat Joe were really, really, really close. And uh, at one time, Irv Gotti was talking about Ashanti. Fat Joe didn't like it and, and said how he felt. Well, Irv Gotti talks about him and Fat Joe if they ever spoke or are they still cool? Fat Joe was my brother. Right. I do not feel Fat Joe is my brother okay. anymore. Anymore. Yeah, and I'm like... Uh, I guess it's a cancer trait. Yes, Some it is. Some people will call it a, a <laughs> That's a, It's a sign you're talking about cancer? Okay. Because once you show me who you are, All right. or you, you speak negatively about me, it's over. I mean, Herb, not wrong, though. If we brothers, I don't, you know, I don't mind you having a, a critique, but, you know, when you use language like I'm a sucker, you know, like you got to call, you can't pick up the phone and call me and tell you, me that? You can still feel that way, but it's just the, the fact that you did it in public and it's yeah. fixing me. Call, pick up the phone and call me and tell me that. Don't tell the world that first. Maybe Joe did. I'm, I'm not sure, but. Uh, no, nah, Irv said he did. He didn't. I watched that. All right. Now let's talk about uh, love and hip hop. A uh, lot going on in Miami over the week. Tommy Lee. You remember Tommy Lee? Of course, she's from love and hip hop Atlanta. She was arrested in Miami. Uh, they say she was arrested on drug charges, but this is what her team is saying. Her team is saying that. Uh, she was uh, at a restaurant after having a dispute with a dispe- uh, disrespectful employee. Her team alleges that she was only approached by law enforcement because they are familiar with her. They chose to handcuff her and arrest her on grounds of drug possession, despite the fact that the drugs were, in fact, her friend's epilepsy medication. So they're saying that it was no coke. Uh, it was because she was uh, arrested for it says first charge coke cell. And I guess attempted to something. I don't know. But they're saying it was actually her friend's epilepsy medication. Gunplay was arrested on weapons charges after uh, he was accused of pointing a rifle at his wife and baby. Now, Miami journalist Andy Slade is reporting that Gunplay is being accused of allegedly pointing a rifle at his wife while she was holding their six month old baby. Now, Gunplay has denied all uh, allegations. The 44 year old rapper is currently in jail with his bail set at twenty thousand dollars. Now, Gunplay's wife also left a, a, a note on her social media. She said, I just want everyone to know my daughter and I are safe. My daughter's safety is my first priority. Unfortunately, Richard is back using, developed a very bad drinking problem. I've tried everything in my power to help him and love him. This is a demon he has to overcome on his own. At this point, I really believe it's too late. To summarize last night's event, I asked Richard to quiet down as he uh, scared the baby sleeping by yelling, playing Call of Duty. He started going off on me for asking him to be quiet. 
I tried to collect a bag so my daughter and I can go to a room while he sobers up. He didn't want us to leave and things went left fast. He was arrested last night. The weapon is in police custody. I have a restraining order. My daughter is in my custody and I'm filing for divorce. He will never get the chance to disrespect us again. Thank you for all the well wishes and prayers. This is a very traumatizing experience. Please keep me in your prayers. All right. And lastly, Jermaine Dupree. Now, Jermaine Dupree, we was talking about this earlier. Uh, he, he was a kind of upset. He said that just for the record, no brands have done any dinners or get togethers in Atlanta celebrating the 50th anniversary of hip hop. That's hard to believe. And that's crazy. That's hard to believe. I saw people saying that that wasn't true, that there was a lot of brands that did things. And I know they did have a, did they they have did a, have a big show. Yeah, they had a big show. I it seen was, a... Uh, we talked was about that Friday? It, a yeah, it, was, it was Friday. I think yeah. it was the Friday before or something like that. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not sure. With, with so many talent and hip-hop that came out of Atlanta, I would have loved to see something maybe bigger on the scale like they did at Yankee Stadium up here, but who but, knows? Well, I can't Jermaine Dupree do it. He could have did it. <laughs> like Jermaine, JD definitely could have like did it. Like, JD is, is, is big enough to do it. Like, JD could have did something uh, himself. If he thought that uh, hip hop wasn't being represented right coming yeah. out of, coming out of the ATL, yeah. All right, well that is your rumor report. Yeah, I'm looking at uh, the Atlanta Journal Constitution dot com. Yeah, 50 years of hip hop. Ti Goody Mob, the headline, free Atlanta concert. Several other city sponsored events to celebrate city's contribution to music genre. This was on August 1st. It's an article by by Ernie Suggs. Mm. Yeah, so they I'm, did do things. Yeah, clearly they did things. Okay. All right. Well, like I said, that is your room report. When we come back, we got front page news. Teslin Figaro will be joining us. And then we got some special guests coming up. Some special guests coming up. Excuse me. We have Jason Mitchell and Barton Fitzpatrick. You know them from the shy. They got a new flick. Everything is both. And we'll kick it with them in a little bit. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. The Breakfast Club. Your mornings will never be this. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.